Just dig a hole in the ground, climb right on down, place some boards on top of you and sprinkle dirt around. You will have to be dead if you only plan ahead. You'll be glad you kept the shovel. Hello and welcome back to You Don't Have to Be Dead with SRJ26. We are back on the server, but it is not the same server, or it is, but it's in a different place. Uh, Sim had some issues out of his control, and the server was going to go down, and so I took down the Blue Vanilla server and put this up in its place on the same IP that I had Blue Vanilla on. So, that means that we are still around and in business, and I have solar panels and a circuit fabricator and an electric compressor so exciting and yeah i've been doing a little bit of work but not a lot i didn't want to do too much without you guys being able to see but uh, i've got some new stuff in here this the regular compressor i think you guys saw that before maybe but in my ender backpack i have a ton of compressed steel and we're going to make something with that what we're going to make right now is a launch pad that is made of three blocks of iron and three compressed iron which i don't have do i have compressed hey no that's tin okay <laughs> um getting all excited for nothing let me just there we go. Okay, so let me get what I need, and we will do it to it. Let me just run upstairs. We'll make three compressed iron. It's funny. I don't know why I missed that. That was that was um, not steel. I've been making so much steel because a lot of stuff requires steel, but that's all right. So let's just plop that down. I was told that when I breathe in, I sound like I'm having a cardiac arrest, so it's okay, I'm not having cardiac arrest, but I'm not that old yet. Um, I do breathe probably funny or something, but I don't know. Can't worry about it. It's got to do your thing. Okay, so we've got three iron and three iron, and yes, we have a launch pad. Just for giggles, let's go put it down in its eventual destination right now, and I will show you... Did you see it already? I don't even know. Hey, horsey. Uh, I have a launch pad place way over here that is set up pretty nicely. It's, it's not bad. It is where the launches are going to happen, at least my launches are going to happen. And it's also a great place to look for Endermen if I'm doing Enderman hunting, which I have been off and on as I wait for steel and bronze and iron to compress. And it's right down here. I gotta put some nicer lights down. But... Whoa! Okay, there we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... Yay! All right, we've got a launch pad. Very exciting. Now, we've got a lot of other stuff to do first before we can get too carried away, but let's make a NASA workbench because the NASA workbench is the core of the Galacticraft crafting stuff. So, uh, we might as well do that next. So let's just tootle on back and we'll make that workbench. I think I have everything I need. I'm not going into the into space half-assed, so to speak. I'm going to absolutely get everything I can possibly think of before we launch. So that's why I'm doing so much mining and so much resource gathering. NASA. Oh, look at that. Schematics and everything. All right. Coming soon. Tier 3 rocket. Compressed steel. Workbench. Uh, crafting table. Lever. Lever. Advanced woofer and compressed steel. All right, remember that. Uh, I got workbench upstairs. Uh, I need, I've got one lever there. I need to get some of that. And what else, what else? Uh, I th think that's everything. Let's go up and see if we've got everything. 
Uh, we've got advanced wafer. I'm going to make one of those. Oh, I need I need cobblestone. Cobblestone, cobblestone. Which is actually one of those things... Oh, do I have... Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. So let's get our cobblestone and use that to make a lever. Or a lever. Wow, you can get a battle wrench in thermal expansion. Okay, I don't even know what that is. I have not played enough of this mod, to be perfectly honest, to know what I'm talking about. I'm sort of... I'm not faking it, but I'm a little more lost than I would let you uh, have you believe. One... Two, three, four, uh, wafer. Let's right, see if I remember this correctly. Hey, look at that. That's our workbench. Now, in old Tekkit, there were a lot of things that if you did them wrong, they would disappear. You could, like, totally break your machinery. But I'm going to trust that this is one that when I put it down, I can pick it up again. Because that's what I want to believe, basically. All right, here's our NASA workbench. In our NASA workbench, we can make our rocket. So let's see what parts of our rocket we can build. Let's, um, let me see. Fin. Fin, fin, fin. Rocket fins. Heavy duty plate. Compressed, I got compressed steel. How do I make heavy duty plate? Uh, oh, bronze, aluminum, and steel. Okay, so we need bronze, aluminum, and steel. Do we have bronze, aluminum, and steel? Let's take a look again. Oh, wait, what's this? Infinite bed. Okay, well, bronze, aluminum, and steel. We need one, two, three, four plate. Each one is made from two bronze, so that's two times four, so that's... Oh, take it. You don't make things easy. Wait. That's where I want. Okay. Two bronze, two aluminum, two steel. So eight. Let's see if we've got that. Uh, let's go right there. All right. So eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I've been told that you can do stuff to, like, click and automatically feed your your items into the crafting table if you right click or say hey, look at that if you right click to be able to wait that's only four do I need more than four I need more than four don't I oh no wait I need four okay good 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 all right so there's what where did, what 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 happened where'd it go Oh, okay, good. Whew, okay, so we didn't lose anything, uh, except for our mind. Let's put that down, and, oh, no, I don't craft it there, I craft it, here. no, do I craft it here? Yeah, I craft it here, okay, yeah, we know what we're doing. Okay, and I'll just drop that down. And, cross your fingers, guys. Hey, look at that. It's rocket fins. And... We need more. Oh, man. How many fins do I need? All right. All right. So this is going to be a little larger. Uh, nose cone. Let's take a look at the news. Nose cone. Nose cone. Hey, it needs uh, more. Okay. So I've got to go make a bunch of bronze. Bronze. Was that right? Bronze. Let me see. Yeah. i got to make a bunch of bronze, which is made... Oh, Tinker's Alloy? Tinker's Alloy. How did I make bronze before? I thought I put, like, two things together. I don't know. At any rate, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff together, and I will let you know when I have something close to the stuff to be actually... Let's, let's try to make a rocket today. We're not going to launch it, but let's just make a rocket. So I'm going to go get more resources compressed and smushed together and all that good stuff, and I will be back when I have some more pieces to actually assemble. Because that would be cool. And i got to get some... i got to remember to put some uh, chests up here. So that I can actually have storage in the ship. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. 
so I went and got some more uh, bronze, and I'm using the the manual compressor because it's just so much more efficient. The uh, the one that's electric upstairs uh, with the solar panels, it doesn't really do a great job. So I got some more tin and copper and put it together to make bronze, and now I'm getting the bronze, the aluminum, and the steel to make heavy-duty plate. And now that I have heavy-duty plate, uh, I might have too much, but at the very least, I think I can make a nose cone, which would be exciting. And I've got some sticks left, so let's go upstairs. Now, I wonder if I can put these in this NASA thing and have it stay. Let's find out. So we got that, and then we got, what, one, two, three. That's four, two, okay, there we go. So we got a nose cone, and we put the nose cone in here, and, hey, that's not good, okay. <laughs> Apparently I can't store my nose cone in there, but the nose cone goes there, and then the fins, I guess I need four fins, so let's make four fins, and the fins are, let's, I just made them, fin, Thin. Lordy, I need <laughs> so I need twelve heavy duty plate. All right, so my work is cut out for me here. Um, now what else do we have? Rocket ship body, body. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, galactic craft. That'll do it. And let's just go next. Oh, not two, one. Ah, uh, no, two. There we go. Okay, so we got our nose cone, rocket fins, nose cone, rocket engine, uh, booster, buggy seat. Where's my body? I ain't got no body. Well, that's another four right there. So that's four plus four for one of the fins, three fins makes 12. Uh, so that's 16 plus however many I need for their body. And the body is, where is the body? There's a rocket ship body in here somewhere, let me tell ya. Um, ba -ba -ba, meteoric iron, it's right in front of me. I know it's right in front of me. I'm like staring right at it and I'm not seeing it. And come on, maybe, maybe I just put plate. Maybe it's just heavy duty plate. That would be sweet. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. Let's um actually no rocket ship Shh. rocket nope no rocket spaceship. Let's just go back and look at galactic craft. It's got to be a ship in here somewhere, but you know maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um yeah. Cargo, oh, cargo rocket. Hey, heavy duty plate. Okay, so that means 16, because that's four, four, and four, and four, so that's 16, plus uh, six. <laughs> I can do math. 16 plus six is 22. 22 heavy duty plate, which is a lot of materials. And I gotta say, I wouldn't ever accuse people of. Dealing. I think I'm just losing my mind because I thought I had more like tin and oh no. See, the thing is that like I've got all this copper ingot from the thermal expansion but like nothing from Galacticraft Core. So I, oh, I thought I had been doing a lot of mining but apparently not. I think we need to go turn over the world and just mine the whole darn thing out. Um, so at least, and I've got all this steel too. I made a ton of steel. That's fine though. Steel's steel's good. It's not it's not bad. It's just not really what I need. <laughs> I need I need the heavy duty plate. So um, well actually, you don't want to see the back of my head or the front of my head. Let's go back upstairs. I think we're gonna sign off because I have reached a place where I cannot really progress anymore. Uh, today at least, but I'm happy to announce that the server is not down. It was looking like it was in trouble, and we are back on a new IP address, so that is exciting. 
And again, thank you, Sim, for getting this baby rolling. Without you, we wouldn't be doing this at all. So it's very much appreciated. And yeah, so I've done a little bit of work. I got solar panels, I got an S workbench, and I got a million, million, million tons of stuff to go dig out. I might make a quarry, maybe, because that would actually automate the process of doing all this digging, and that wouldn't be a bad thing. So I'm going to think about that. Leave a comment below if you have suggestions. If you want to see me make a quarry and dig out some ridiculous large expansive something and then probably blow it up with a combustion engine. That might be fun. Um, but at any rate, I've got to get a lot of tin and I've got to get a lot of copper and it can't be the thermal whatever. It's got to be the Galactic Craft unless I can translate it somehow with some other special machine, which I might be able to. I don't know. This whole thing is so complicated. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a little lost, but I got a lot of work ahead of me. So thank you for watching. This has been SRJ26 with a little update on our Galactic Craft Tech It world here and progress on the LP. So I'm really going to try to get a lot done so next time we can actually build the rocket. Even if I do that, we're still going to need to make an oxygen compressor and a moon buggy and parachutes and all kinds of stuff. So we got a lot to do. But uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Hopefully my arms will be sore, but I'll have a lot of stuff to go work with and put together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So many rumors, sometimes you get confused. But I read it in Time magazine, and I heard it on the news.